Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Revlon Brush and Sponge Daily Cleaner. I've already done two things. I've already cleaned my Y6 brush and my concealer sponge. So I'm going to show you guys the process of me cleaning the brushes and everything. So I have all these brushes. It's a mix between Morphe and Wish and Walmart brand brushes and just every kind of brush. Uh, and then I have sponges in here. And so I got this. This was on clearance actually for $6 instead of like 12 I think. The camera goes a little bit weird, I know. Don't mind that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it did to the brush. It didn't really clean it that well. This was just rubbing on my hand and then the sponge through my hand as well. And this sponge already has like a bunch of stains on it and to begin with and it's probably never going to get cleaned. So, I'm going to take my little sponge pad or cleaning pad. Try to get it down to my hand so that way my band-aid does not come off. Okay. So when I sprayed this the first time, it was like, it smelled just like, it was heavy and smelled just really, really toxic. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. What's in it? Let me see what's in it first. Um, I can't tell. I want to go ahead and take my brush spray this on it again and then just buff it over <coughs> see it's like really toxic for some reason get it wet no <coughs> I don't know if I should continue to clean my brushes with this this is just so, this smell is just super toxic. Let me try something. So I have this soap bar from the brand is called Revitalizing Phil. Revitalizing, I think that's what it's called. So I'm going to brush my sponge on top of that. to get it a little bit soapy. Now, I haven't used this brain before for cleaning my brushes, but it does seem to be doing a pretty good job. So let's go ahead and do that. Cover it with water. Let's see how that goes. This is a face and body, or face, yeah, face and, bo face and body bar. Um, Y'all should just see the sink right now. Look at that. That all came off of that. Okay. I think this might be a better brush cleaner than this toxic stuff. So let's see. Okay. Water. Oh yeah, that definitely got it work for me. Definitely. That looks a lot better. This looks like a lot better. Because my Y6 brush was just like really, really dirty. Let's find another really dirty brush. And test this there. We just... So this... Brush was cleaned with a mixture of this and then the face and body bar. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the, just the face and body bar and see how that does. Actually, I'm going to choose a brush that's supposed to have white bristles on it. I want to go with my contour brush, which is my R14 brush from Morphe. I'm going to get it wet. And I'm going to just spray... Oh, 
brush. Turn on some water. Don't see any difference. I mean, color did come out of it, but it was just, it's still just not white. So we'll take the body bar again and see how this does. See, look at all that color that's just coming off of there. Wait, ready? As soon as that touches the body bar, it just comes like straight off. You guys can like barely see it, but it looks a lot worse in person. Okay. Good water. Oh yeah, there we go. That is the normal color, or somewhat of it. That got a whole bunch more color out of it. And some bristles. It's good too. I'm just going to use the body bar on my highlighting brush and just see how that works. Wet it again and we'll see how this goes. Push it all around. Looks like it's, it freaking looks like it's brand new. Okay, so this compared to this. Body bar, body bar, and that, and then the spray. I'm gonna go off camera now and clean the rest of my brushes um, with just the body bar. But overall, yeah, this thing does all of that.
but overall this honestly does not work I don't recommend it plus it's small it's like toxic it is literally just toxic so but I don't know if it, if it just works for Revlon brushes because it literally says um, works well with all Revlon brushes and sponges and I don't have a Revlon brush, brush or sponge to test that theory out but maybe I'll end up getting a brush at some point and testing that theory out for you guys but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below telling me you guys enjoyed and also don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me um, any other products that you guys want me to try out or do a review on or any video ideas that you guys would want to see Leave them down in the comments below and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for my post notifications so you guys get updated when I upload a new video or do a new or do a live stream. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video.